G'day guys, Andy Thomas here from Wolf on the Run. Um, look what's just turned up. There we go. New tyres for the Africa Twin. These are the Tractmotos J Tractionator GPS. And as I was saying the other day, um, if you see there, it's 50-50. But you can also put them the other way which says mostly off-road so I think they become <clears throat> an 80-20 tyre if you do that but uh, I'm going to put them on just the 50-50 way because I do spend a fair bit of time on the road and I am going to try and do off-roading I've not done a lot but we're going to try some more this year so uh, yeah we're going to put these tyres on the bike I'm only going to show you the back one because obviously the front one is exactly the same as it goes on um, this one's going to be the battle I reckon with the back but as you can see the tread is, yeah, I'm happy with those. All right, let's get going. All right guys, as you can see, um, I was going to adjust this the other day. I did spray it up, I was, I was going to adjust it and I thought, no, I'll leave it because the tyres are coming and I'll reset it once the tyres are on. As you can see, there's a, it's touching under there, so there's a little bit of play. Um, it does tell you on the top of there, measurements, which I'll show you. It does, uh, there you go. So it's got 40 millimeters, which is the play, and also refer to handbook. That's on the actual chain guard, um, but that's probably a little bit more than 40. So when we put the new tyres on, the wheels back on, we'll uh, retention the chain to what it should be. Okay, guys. So we've got 22 mil socket for this back wheel. Crack that. I'm going to get a little tub to put all these parts in. There you go, a little plastic tub just to keep everything in. Just so we know where they are. Um, yeah. Joys of having two dogs. Bloody Chris and everything for you, look. Anyway, we can clean that up, that's no dramas. Alright, so we took that off, take that spacer, we'll go around the other side. Now I've got a little plastic rubber mallet that I'm going to knock this side through. Obviously using that won't damage the thread. And you should see that's coming out through that side. So theoretically now, should be able to pull that back through. Spacer into the box. Shaft into the box. Push that forward. Lift my chain off. There we go. The wheels out, simple as that. There's a little spacer there, which I'm going to take out, put there, that side, take out, go in the box. All these rings are good, not that old, so yeah. All right, guys, what I've got is a couple of pieces of wood. So I'm going to put them on the floor. I've got a piece of sponge. I've also got a piece of carpet. So that's going to go that way, just so we don't put any pressure onto that disc. It'll be between the gap. So we've got a bit of uh, a bit of support underneath it. And as I say, as you can see in the middle there, the uh, the brake disc is just sitting on top of the carpet, there's no pressure down. So I'm going to take out the valve, the valve core, and loose the tyre down. Take off the dust cap. Again, I'm going to put down the little box. You know it's safe. 
under the valve court. I just let a bit of pressure off so it don't uh, push the core out, we lose it. Okay, so there's the valve core out. Alright, so in my tool tube here that I do caddy with me is a pair of tyre levers and there should be some rim protectors. Those are fell out. All right, so first up, I'm just going to spray a bit of Windex around it. Um, you can use dishwashing liquid, whatever you want to use, just to give you that little bit of lubrication. We just let that roll down inside a bit. Um, so obviously we've got to break the bead, break the seal. All right, I'm going to tap it round. Just to see if it will loose up. Again, I'm using that little rubber hammer. I think I've just about broke the seal now, just starting to go. There we go. I oh, don't no. now turn it over because so I'll get the spanner and take off that valve nut. Alright guys, so it's a 12 mil spanner. Just gonna undo that. These are inner tubes inside these tires. Um, you can get heavy duty inner tubes, but um, I'm quite happy with these inner tubes that's here and the tires that's going on. I don't think it'll be an issue to upgrade the inner tubes. I don't think I need to. Right, again, I'm going to put that safe in the tub so I know where it is. It's good to keep a little tub around you just so that everything is in one place because you put things back together. You go, where did that go? Where did that go? All right, now let's flick it over. a bit of stuff on that one give a few hits with the hammer I'm gonna pull this one, put those protectors on. A bit of string, I suppose, to stop you losing them inside. But especially if you've got painted wheels, also stop the, the chunking out of them. Alright, can we see? Are we good? Yep. 
get under there, making sure I'm not pinching the tube. The idea, the secret hopefully, is to just small little bites. Lifting them as you go. And so just make sure that you've just got the edge of the tyre, you're not pinching on your, you're doing a tube. Otherwise, that's another job. We'll check the, uh, the inner tubes before we put them back in. There you go. So that's, that should be good. Now the pressure's off there now, so I should be able to leave it elsewhere because there's not as much pressure on now. So you're not going to damage your rims here. The main first pressure obviously is where we started, that's where you put your rim protectors. Okay. That's that tire off that side. It's the same there, we're gonna try and break this side. So we do exactly the same as what we did. It's that way, no, that way. There we go, that side was a lot easier. And that's dropped off, we should be able to pull the inner tube out now. We go to where the valve is, which was here. So there we go, pull the inner tube out. Take off your anti-buggy wheel up plastics. There's your inner tube. As I say, we'll check it over, I'll blow it back up and we'll check it before we actually put it back in, make sure I didn't pinch it. Right, put my tyre lever through there on that edge protector and I'm going to lever the tyre over. In fact, if I turn it round, So you can see, yes, you want that to happen. Oh. All good, fell onto the wood. Okay, so that's the uh, the tire off. All right, guys, so we're gonna put this tire on, I'm going to use a bit of dishwash liquid, can't beat a bit of lube as they say, and I'm also going to use that Windex, just to, because the, the washing up liquid or dishwashing liquid goes a bit stick, stiff and sticks, alright, we've checked this, the arrow 50-50 that way, the wheel arrow is that way, so theoretically I should be able to just push that on, That's the easy bit, then get the tube. <laughs> All right, so I managed to get that in a little bit tight. The tire's been so thick. 
I'm just gonna, I've got the nuts on, tighten the nuts up. Alright, now we feed the inner tube round. Nicely within. Just make sure that your inner tube is right down, otherwise, you will be pinching the tube between the steel and the tyre when you put it back together. Right on. Again, the dishwashing liquid and Windex. You can use one or the other, but. I like to get it everywhere because the more ease the better. Yep. So to start off we shouldn't need the the protectors. Alright, we've got that down, we push that inside there because it was sitting on the bead making this a little bit too tight. So we'll just go with a little bit more lube under there. Small bites. go she's on all right guys we've blown it up I took it up the garage because my compressors not strong enough to actually pop the wheel so I took it up the garage popped it up give it a clean all ready to go back on the bike all right guys I'm gonna put my spaces back in I'm gonna put a bit of grease back on just remember which side they came from each one obviously the bigger spacer is from this side I remember I'll grease the other one up, put it in the other side. Just gives it that little bit of extra, and why not? All right, you've probably seen a, an extra pair of hands in the video earlier on. That's Jimmy, the guy we're riding with. Uh, <laughs> He's about to order his tyres and do the same, so yeah, he's come down to help me. And I think his theory is that I'm going to go and bloody help him, but I don't know, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> oh no, let's get that in. Going that back through the brake chute. Has it gone in? Let's get the chain on. Chain could do with a good degreasing with all this wax, but that's fine. Come back to you, mate. Okay, pull the uh, pull the bike down, Jim. Spacer for some reason. The wheel not straight. That's it. Got it. Can you bring the bike down, mate. Whoops. Too much. Yep. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Take it around the other side. Alright, as I say, just 
important to make sure that obviously that slid back through the brake shoes. As I said to you earlier, the piston came out a little bit. We just levered the piston back in to make sure we can get that in. So now, spacer back on. Washer. And I'm going to put a bit of lock seal on this. Even though it's a locking nut, I'm still going to put some lock seal on. It's going to stick a little bit just inside the thread. Won't hurt nothing. And then one more over there. All right, so I've got the shifter on the other side just to hold it. I'm not going to tighten it all the way up yet. Just going to nip it up just to make sure that the, uh, the shaft is straight. And then we'll get the, I think it's a 14 mil spanner. So that's just nipped a little bit. So I'm going to adjust these now and get the tension on the, the chain. Right on. So it's a 13 mil spanner to crack that. And then I'm going to do one and a half turns. One and a half. Might be just about right. And do the same the other side. I just picked up the wrong spanner, don't I? I did. So again, one and a half. Nip that up. So that's not actually touching there, so that means the wheel is in on the piece. Untighten that. Make sure the wheel is touching it, which it is now. Make sure she's tight. Yep. Back around the other side. That's touching there. Play on the chain. Is about 30 mil travel, which is fine. As you know, earlier when I showed you, it was touching right at the top, touching the actual frame. So now that's good. So I've so, got my adjustable on the other side. And now we're going to tighten this up. Yeah. And that's it. New tyre. Okay guys, there we go. Bike's put back in the bedroom. Oh, shed as it is. Um, tyre's done. On the back, tires done on the front. Yep, just gonna take it out tomorrow and give it a run. I'm happy with the fender risers that we've done. Plenty of clearance all the way around now. There you go, guys. Tires installed, moto, tractionators, GPS. Not tried them yet. I'm gonna try them out tomorrow. Um, got to go out this afternoon, Saturday afternoon, so we're going. To, I'm going to go out and ride on them tomorrow, try them out. I've been told that the front tyre gives you a little bit of rumbling for the first few k's, so we'll look out for that. But um, I, ba I did balance all the wheels up um, by the spokes before I put them back on, which I forgot to video and show you. But um, yeah, the little spoke weights, I took those off, um, put the wheels on the centre plate, balanced them, and then put them where there was the, the, the heavy weight. So, yeah, they're all good. All back on the bike. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.